Okay, a little tip I thought I would share. There's probably uh, many folks out there watching that uh, have known about this for a long time, but it comes in handy at times. In many cases, when you're working on these uh, vintage uh, pieces of electronics, you'll have uh, bypass capacitors that are high value. And again, you'll have one lead, of course, on your B-plus side and the other lead going to uh, ground itself. So uh, let me show you real quickly on a schematic and a couple test results here from uh, some vintage capacitors and some modern day caps and show you how we can uh, come very close to understanding the capacitance value using an analog uh, VOM. So we'll start out testing this 0.25 microfarad capacitor. And again, we'll just use the uh, analog meter. A little math along with a, a DC source to understand the approximate capacitance value. So what I'm shooting for is uh, plus or minus 10%. And uh, we'll see if we can stay within that range using this technique. Okay, let's uh, look at the schematic I'm showing here with a little sample drawing of the VOM in the uh, circuit. So you can see what I've done. I've lifted the ground side of the uh, capacitor C6. And I have my positive lead attached there. And then the negative lead of my uh, VOM attached back to chassis ground. Again, I'm on the DC side. In this case, I'm working in a B-plus environment that's uh, around 100 volts. So I have my uh, meter set to uh, 250. And uh, let's energize the uh, capacitor now by flipping on the B-plus voltage. And uh, let's watch real close and uh, see what happens here to the uh, meter itself. Now what I'm looking for, again, you'll see the capacitor itself will charge up and it will come close to my 100 volts it will see that uh, I'm going to apply to the capacitor. And then you're going to see the fall time of the capacitor. And what we want to do is understand the difference in time between the uh, peak and the fall time. So I'm going to use a little counter in the background and uh, we'll just count the seconds and then we'll take that time plug it into a simple formula and then we can uh, compute a very close approximation to the uh, value of the capacitor let's get started so again the first capacitor that we'll test here will be the uh, 0.25 microfarad capacitor and let me preface this the smaller value capacitors, typically uh, 0.01 or less, this is not a, a practical means for testing because the fall time is uh, less than a half a second. So it would be really hard to uh, capture that. Electrolytics also, uh, you can forget about using this technique on those because they're typically leaky under these test conditions. So um, I tested a few and uh, really didn't get uh, good results. But uh, for some of the higher value, again, bypass capacitors that you might find or other capacitors, it's kind of a neat trick to know. And um, it will take a look at some oldies here too and uh, just better understand an open, leaky, or shorted capacitor as well. Okay, again, keep an eye on the meter. I'm going to flip the uh, B-plus on. Again, we'll see the uh, capacitor rise time, and then we'll see it fall. And again, I'm going to put the counter here in the background, and uh, we'll calculate the uh, seconds here to get back down to uh, approximately zero here on the meter. Again, we're looking at this at an angle, so it may not show zero on the meter. And this will be a close approximation. Okay, keep an eye on the meter now. I'm going to uh, apply the B-plus voltage. Okay, there you have it. Now I came up with a little over 11 seconds. Um, 
but let's just say 10 to 12, but we'll use the 11 second number and uh, plug that into the old calculator here and let's see what we come up with. Okay, if you're looking at the uh, calculator to uh, compute, again, the approximate capacitance value, all I'm doing is taking the time in seconds here and I'm dividing that by my meter resistance. In this case, it's 10 meg or 10 million. Multiply that by 5 and then you take the time and divide it again by the uh, sum of the meter resistance times 5. Then I'm going to multiply that by 1 million to get this back to um, microfarads and uh, you can see what we come up with there, the 0.2242 microfarads. So I had already done the math, uh, plus or minus 10% of the 0.25, uh, the lower side would have been 0.225, so you can see I'm just beneath 10%, uh, or just outside my 10% window. Now I've repeated the test, it's kind of a guessing game, watching the deflection of the meter. So I've been anywhere from 10 to 12 seconds. So you can see I'm falling within probably about a 15% window, plus or minus, of the uh, capacitance value. But it is a very interesting technique and another way to calculate the uh, value of a known capacitor in circuit, or I should say out of circuit with the ground lead removed if B plus is available. So uh, let's look at one more example real quick, and then we'll look at a couple old caps and see how they perform. Okay, let's uh, test this 0 0.05 microfarad capacitor. And uh, let's look at the difference here. Now again, less capacitance means a quicker rise and fall. So uh, we should see less time on the meter between the time it peaks and it falls. So it will fall quicker. So uh, we'll do the same exercise here. And I'll put the uh, timer on and then we'll calculate the uh, results and see uh, how close again it matches uh, this particular capacitor value. Okay, again, keep an eye on the meter. I've got the uh, 0.05 microfarad capacitor in the circuit now. Let's flip on the B plus and see what happens. Okay, I came up with uh, just a bit north of uh, two seconds. You can see at 2.29. So let's throw that number into the uh, calculator and compute the uh, capacitance value and see how close this particular capacitor is using this same uh, technique. Okay, let's look at the results now. I'm going to take the 2.29 seconds. I'm going to divide that by my input resistance of my meter, which was 10 meg times 5. Take the results of that times 1 million, and you can see the results here we get 0 0.0458. So the capacitor we tested was 0 0.05 microfarads. And let's see, the bottom number, if I were to do 10%, would be 0 0.045. So I'm inside that 10% window. So again, very close approximation. Thought I would share that with you guys. Hopefully it's uh, helpful. Let's look at a couple uh, old capacitors now and uh, just understand what a leaky cap looks like using the same test procedure. Again, this particular cap that stated it was 0 0.05 microfarads, rated at 600 volts. Again, I'm going to leave my uh, B plus voltage set for 100 volts. And again, we'll get this thing uh, hooked up here in the circuit, and uh, we'll repeat the test. So we already know the results we got from a modern day 0 0.05 um, microfarad capacitor was, what, just under uh, three seconds. So uh, let's see what we get here. Okay, I now have the uh, 0 0.05 microfarad capacitor hooked up. Keep an eye on the meter, and uh, let's see what happens here when I apply the B-plus voltage. Okay, you can see I probably still had around a three to four second drop time, but uh, the big indicator here, you see the meter never deflected back down to zero. What this indicates 
is a leaky capacitor. So just a great indicator if someone is uh, working and not doing a wholesale replacement of capacitors, this is a great test you could do. Again, assuming that uh, you're in a position where you've got a ground side, you can lift the ground side, your B-plus is stable, and you can apply this technique, and real quickly you can see, uh, just with 100 volts, not even 600, that the uh, capacitor is rated for, this is a leaky capacitor. Let me simulate what a shorted capacitor would look like. Okay, keep an eye on the meter now. We'll simulate a shorted capacitor. Let me apply the uh, DC voltage here again. And you can see I have no deflection. I'm reading 150 volts of B+. Plus and there's no movement at all. So that indicates all the DC itself is passing through the capacitor, which is not a good thing. And this, again, this would be an indicator of a shorted capacitor. All right, let's look and see what an open capacitor looks like on the meter. So uh, keep an eye on it here. I'm gonna flip on the B plus. And no meter movement at all. So again, an indicator that the uh, capacitor under test right now is completely open. It has failed. So thanks again for watching. I hope you found this uh, helpful, informative. Again, most of us just go in and replace these old uh, vintage caps, but uh, hey, maybe there's even a modern day cap that's failed. It's a high enough value. Again, uh, not a picofarad value or somewhere around uh, 0 0.01 or so that would uh, indicate less than one half second uh, rise to fall time. That you could actually perform this exercise again just doing the simple math that we uh, talked about. Again, taking the number of seconds between the charge time, the fall time, divide that by your uh, meter input resistance times five. You can multiply that by one million if you choose to do so, and that will bring it back to uh, microfarads. Thanks again for watching, folks.